Hello, we've prepared this video series about the mysteries of starter kits and how to get started with some equipment that will actually enable you to go on your own and hopefully catch plenty of fish. The first thing I'd like to say is that I wouldn't rush into going out and spending a lot of money on fishing equipment until you're sure that it's what you or your offspring really want to do. Our advice is to go to at least two or three Let's Fish sessions to make sure that it's something you want to take up on a permanent basis and then it's definitely worthwhile spending a little bit more money and getting something that's actually going to be fit for purpose. So mm. Simon, you've been to the shop this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've been to our local shop today. Um, like Gareth, he knows the area and everything. We've explained, we've tried to put ourselves in the position of um, like a parent taking in the child and everything to um, to see, to get the stuff they need. Like, so we've told Gareth where we were going to go. Yeah, which was the shop's union. Yeah, you know? and he's, um, he obviously, he's, he sorted out a pole and everything and some hook, everything you need to have it just to start out and have a decent, a decent chance of catching. Yes. And so we've got, he provided us with a pole and everything. So he could have provided you with a whip. Could have, yeah. Or yeah. a pole. Firstly, can you tell me what yeah. the difference is between those two Right, with, with, a, with a whip, it's, there's no elastic in it. Like this one's got elastic in, but with a whip, it's just fixed on the end. Yeah. So there's... There's no sort of cushion or anything. Um, and what we found when we're doing the events with Let's Fish, new anglers, they tend to like try and yank out the yank out the fish and it can break the line and tangles and stuff. Yeah. But because we put elastic in them, it cushions all that so, and it stops it and it, it just stops all a lot of the tangles and lost fish and so stuff like that's that. So a, 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 an important Yeah, thing. even on our own yeah. fishing, um, it's very rare we use whips because there's yeah. lots of bonus fish about, so um, we always use elastic. Am so. I right in thinking that with a three metre whip, you'd use three metres of line, with a four metre whip, you use four metres of line, whereas with a pole, yeah. you're actually putting sections Well, this on. is a take apart one, this one, so you know, it go, we can fish anywhere from like two and a half metres to six metres. So obviously we wouldn't use six metres of line, we'd use like two and a half metres of line if we were fishing six metres out with a six metre pole. But um, what we'd need to do though is elastic, because a lot of the, the, the ready elasticated poles you get from the shops now are tailored towards commercial fishing with the elastic's quite heavy. They're aimed at carp. Yeah, which it, like this one, quite very heavy elastic and it won't sort of match up with the small hooks and fine lines we're gonna so use. Can you explain the, how yeah. the numbers work for that. Yeah. Am I right in thinking it's like starts at number one? Yeah, it's like the opposite to hooks. When you've got hooks... Um, so the, explain hooks then first. Right, well, the bigger the number on hooks, the smaller the hook is. So a 26 hook size is smaller than a 10 size. Yeah. But with elastic, it would... Oh, so funny elastic, way to, it goes up in singles, it, does it? Yeah, start with one, yeah, it's the opposite two, way. three, four, five, six, etc. Yeah, it's the opposite way, like number with two. With hooks? Yeah. Does it go up in singles? Um, or does it go up there in There is doubles? single ones, but it, it mainly doubles, so it's like 20, 22, 24, but there is odds, some makes to an odd size. So, but it's mainly goes up in, but elastic, it goes up in ones. And it's a funny way, because the, the hooks, the bigger the number, the smaller the hook is. Yeah. And elastic, the bigger the number, the heavier the elastic is. So a number 10 elastic is heavier than a number two elastic. So, on a canal, yeah, and let's face it, most of the Let's Fish events are on a canal, and canals for all sorts of reasons are an absolutely fantastic place to yep. start off your fishing career. Yeah. What strength or number of elastic would you I'd probably use like a, a number four elastic. A number three or a four elastic will cover m most canals, you know, because we're primarily targeting small fish, so we want a nice soft elastic yeah. for that. And it and because they're new anglers, that with the softer elastic, there's a bit more room for error. If they do try and swing in a great big fish, they can't do it because the elastic yeah. stretches for miles. Yeah. So. And if you did hook, by good fortune, a, yeah. you know, quite a big fish, say a yeah. perch of about a pound, which are quite yeah. common on the yeah, yeah, now, yeah. have you got a good chance of landing? Yeah, you have with the, soft, with the soft elastic, you have, yeah, because the fish will just run off and swim round. So the nice, fine elastic, it gives it, you know, it, it's... You've probably got more chance of getting them out on a fine elastic than a 
than a heavier one because yeah. so these perch, heavy elastics yeah. and they're designed for what for co commercial carp fishing really yeah. but as you can see on that one it's very heavy and it's it's just very tight sort of thing so if you try to catch good in small ropes with that yeah it, would, it yeah. wouldn't pull out no no it would um it would like you it just wouldn't be right for the job so we, what we're going to do is put a because well, a lot of the time when you go to the shop you and if it's pre-elastic it, it will be heavy so you need yeah. to convert it now in a minute is, you're going to show me how to put elastic yeah. into the pole i hope yeah if you went to a shop yeah, yeah, yeah. would they do all of that for a, a good you? like a good local shop like the one i've got here um he, he would do all, all that for you. Yeah, I think that's yeah. an important tip, Definitely, um, definitely. For any parent thinking of investing uh, in, in, a, in, a, 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 ready, uh, in a, a self made starter kit where you, where you go and make up the different components, you're really looking for a retailer mm. that, will, that will help you yeah. out. Yeah, because he wants you to come back to the shop again. So, like Gareth said this morning, he wants the experience to be a good experience. So, he'll, them sort of shops, like I used to work in a shop years ago. Yeah. And we'd always, do all that, you know, and do it all for them. Yeah, and, you know, because but they, you know, but we can demonstrate yeah. how and to demonstrate do it. Demonstrate right? and, and, yeah. and teach them how to do it. As yeah, well. that's it. Yeah, yeah. but um, a shop like Gareth, any, any local sort of shop like that, will sort it all like for you. Ninety nine percent of them. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. This okay. thing here, then, before we actually, yeah. What do you, what do you just, call that? And yeah, what, that's what's it all that is. It's a connector, so that connects your rig to the. Um, yeah, that one. So it's got a little sleeve. So you just pull the sleeve down and you put yes. your loop of line in that one. So it, it's like a, a bridge between the elastic and it houses the line. Lovely. So it connects your line to the pole. Yeah. Obviously if it was a whip, which we tend not to use, it would have a connector sort of glued on the end. Yes. Or some sort of um, connection you'd have on the end. Yeah. Or two rubbers for, for argument's sake. But, and it would just be attached so there'd be no shock, it'd just be purely attached to the end of the pole Got, yeah. which is not a lot of room for error that way so yeah. putting the elastic in so and, perhaps for experienced angler yeah but to be fair thing. most of the time i use elastic myself anyway like yeah. even on my own fishing night so. Got, yeah so you really wouldn't recommend no no, a whip. no. you'd recommend a take apart take pole. apart pole yeah yeah Fantastic. like we've got here yeah. yeah 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 so i think it's now time to mm. uh, actually Tell me how you how you put the elastic in. So I'm yeah, okay. So what we've got most of the time they come. It's either in two sections or one section. So we've got one here that's one uh, two sections. And same principle, but um, so that would be a longer length of elastic. But that one, it's it's a nice sort of length of elastic to have in your pole for, so for that's small about fish. What two foot two foot six? Uh, something like that. Yeah. Meter, bit more meter. than a meter, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go with this particular pole. It come with a spare kit anyway. So we're yeah. going to use fact, the one. The pole you've bought. It's yeah. It's six meters, isn't it? Six it, meters. Is it, is it uh, uh, midi one, six meters, and it was fifty quid with a spare spare top as well, which is just the, what you can get for your money these days. Like, would have cost you yeah. years ago. That would have cost a fortune, like so. But so the first job we've got to do, we've got to take out the existing heavy elastic okay yeah and so we're lucky on this one it's a pre-bushed one yeah because what it's got on the end see that that there it's a ptfe oh, yeah, bush yes. yeah and that just if we had the elastic direct in the pole with no cushion there it would because it's a sharp edge there it would fray the elastic and so what would happen then if it, well if the elastic it would it snap out. so when you got a big just so you got a yeah big it, fish would, on, it would snap yeah and so, you'd lose the fish and yeah you lose your rig so we use it that PT, it's called PTFE bush that we cushion the elastic with. Mo all the ones that are pre-elasticated, they'll all be cut back for you. Yes. Um, if you get an odd one that isn't cut back or anything, yeah. obviously the shop would advise you like, but it's just a matter of trimming the pole back and fitting one of those on the end that you can buy separately. Lovely. But P most, P PTFE, PTFE, yeah, yeah. PTFE PTFE most of the time bush. you'll have the existing one on. Yeah. Um, and it's obviously stopped at this end by a base plug. So obviously if we've got to have something to stop it there or the elastic would just pull out the other end. Yes. So so we just get, we're, what we're going to do is just snip this elastic there. Just cut that off. And then we're going to take out, take that that old elastic out then. So now we've got just a hollow. Your hollow no top elastic. section. Yeah, hollow yeah. top section. And, and to make things, because that, that there, that's a, we're going to use a bit of a smaller connector on this one, just so okay. it matches up a bit better with the yeah. elastic. 
So it's not just snippet. Is this called a stomp connector? Stomp yeah. connector, yeah. Yeah. Again, you can use Dacron and all sorts, but the simplest way, especially for new anglers, is to use, it's pretty foolproof, really. I can use one like so. You know, it is foolproof. You so, said that, I couldn't yeah. possibly comment. <laughs> yeah. So if I just pop that there, uh, that old one. Just snip that off there. Have a look at this elastic made by yeah. a company called Preston Innovation. Yeah, like a number four's elastic. It's quite a lot finer than, obviously in diameter you can see it's finer. Yeah. And it'll stretch a lot further as well. So, and as well, that elastic was in there quite tight. It's quite tightly set. Yes. So, so you're going to set it loose. We're going to set lo a lot looser, yeah. Yeah. So if I just, uh, just unravel this. Yeah, it comes on a winder. It comes on a winder, yeah. Yeah. And it looks more than enough. Lots, for, uh, yeah, plenty, yes. Yeah. So you can yeah. do enough so, pulp. So how would you keep the uh, elastic sort of I just uh, keep it in, safe, like, I've got know, some uh, drawers and that that I keep it yeah. in. And obviously, you know, we're not going to use anywhere near all this. So it'll do for, because elastic does perish. Do you actually have to change it after a while? Change it, yeah, quite, just like, have an inspection of it. A couple like, of times a year? Or? No, more than that, to be honest. Yeah, yeah how many times yeah, you always, go fishing? Yeah, always have a look at it. And um, probably not the canal water can fray it and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, so that, yeah. that can... You know, and the sunlight as well gets to it and stuff like that. It's yeah. natural material, so so all we do then. So if I was to try and thread that through there, it'd be quite difficult. You know, if I was trying to get this elastic well, through that. Well, have a go. see if no. you can do it. Well, I can try it, but <laughs> it might work okay on this because it's dry and that. But if it was slightly wet, see, it's it's difficult. It's, it's to, hard to push it. Yeah, it's all difficult to. So what we do yeah. is get an elastic wire. We've got one down here. And it's got... We bought one of these from the shop. Yeah, he sorted out it's one of these. And um, so all we do, and it's got a diamond iron. See on that, that end there? Yeah. And we're going to attach the elastic to that end. So we just thread that. See how much, a lot of how easier it is to thread well, that through. straight through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's come out the other and end. It's come out the other end. You know, if you didn't have that, you could probably get away with using some very thick line yeah. that would do the same trick but wires a lot easier yeah and of course we're doing this in in inside not we're doing on it inside the, yeah not on the yeah tote yeah you know the you know imagine if we were out there today doing it blowing a gale Windy, and yeah, it, it, yeah yeah so all i've done is just attach that just tied a couple of a, a knot in there just to uh just to keep it on the uh on the wire not that one so it doesn't pull off there we go and we can nice and easily now, whoops, just pull it through. So it's coming through. If I was to try and do that without the wire, it'd be, it'd be difficult, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I'm just going to pull it the way we do it now, pull it right to the end. I'm fascinated to see how you're going to attach this end to yeah. the, did yeah. you call it the bung? Yeah, it's called a base plug it is, so it's yeah. like a small bung, which we've got on there. And you can again you can buy them separately from the shops you know if you if you did you know the pole that you bought say it wasn't pre-elasticated and it didn't have all these bits and bobs with yeah. it buy these separate and you can buy the ptfe bushes separate, separate. yeah yeah so if i just chop that bit off there so all we're going to do like that is just attach that and, and nothing fancy again just a just a loop on there double loop yeah. so just and it just attaches, so just gone through twice, just a normal loop knot. Brilliant. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And incidentally as well, if, when you buy, because this is already pre-cut pre down to fit inside So in there. other words, it doesn't go way up the top. Yeah, and the, it doesn't, because obviously this other section, the one that it goes, has got to fit so much, so it's going to have to fit. So if we had the bush cut it, the bung cut it down just to there, this wouldn't it go wouldn't inside. Fit in. That's it wouldn't really fit in. Important point. So if you if you are you know in the position where you have to cut these down, just just do it gradually until the best way to do it is to cut it where you think it will be. Mm. Is to make a mark. What you can do is put it there, twist it round so it makes a mark, so you know where to cut, just with a little junior hacksaw, and just make sure before you put the elastic in that that yeah. does fit on top of there like it doesn't so if you had it on there and it was too low down the section this wouldn't go in properly yeah. like so because another way you can learn these things apart from watching this video is to get involved with um what a lot of the let's fish um clubs 
run sort of evening events, like workshops, workshops they, yeah. in yeah. the classroom, mm. and that's a fantastic way of yeah. actually yeah. learning at your yeah. own pace. Well, we did that when we were kids. You know, we went to the the your club that was involved and the White's Juniors, and we did like especially in the winter months. Yeah. We did a lot of classroom stuff where, you know, so when the summer came, we were all sort of ready and we knew. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so all we do now yeah. is just pull that through. Whoops. So that'll just go, that disappears there. And if I pull there now, it's obviously jammed up. You know, it's going to be sitting. It's about sitting there. A, it's about there, yeah. 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 So it's a good two foot six of elastic yeah. old money. Yeah. And what, what it's best to do as well is just to, because if I was to, just put the connector on the end now. Yeah. When the elastic bedded in and stretched a bit, it might be hanging out. So Got I yeah. just like to give it a bit of a, a stretch. Got yeah. So not okay. you know not going crazy. There. Yeah, just yeah. so just stretch it there. Yeah. So it's like pre-stretching it really, and because this one's a new one, it's nice and dry. It's not sticking to the walls or anything. Yeah. So just so it's still under tension there. Look. Yeah. So that see how it's slightly gone loose there now. Yeah. So I know if I pinch there, that's roughly where. So we'll just go with a little bit more because we're going to tie a knot in it. Okay. So, and if like me, Don't let which I've go. done a million times, you'll let go. Yeah, and, and, then, just, and then of course it all, and it all comes at the... And you have to start again. And it's just a matter then of putting the wire through again. Yeah. So don't worry if you do that, everybody does that. So, but see how that's a lot, a lot softer? Yeah. And it stretches out a lot yeah, further. Yeah, as the other one was like really bad. Yeah, it, it and you can see how that's not bending, but the yeah. other one it was coming out, say, to there, yeah. and really bending. Got so. Yeah. So if you've got a nice perch on the end, it will stretch that much elastic out. More probably, yeah. more to be honest, because I'm not pulling the full. Yeah. yeah. And of course now we've got to tie that that little connector on the end. So okay. that looks a bit tricky. Isn't yeah. It? But or is it easy enough? Yeah, easy enough. Yeah. So it's got two com components there. So we just shred that through like that. So that's that's jamming across it. See how it's loose there. Yeah. So when we've tied our knot there. It's going to be just, yeah. yeah. And so there's no danger of that going into the no. ball because if, it's... No, with some of these you can get like smaller ones. Yeah. So if you got one that was too small it would disappear down there. Yeah. So when, good. when we bought it this morning, um, I just made sure with this connector that it didn't... Do you see, it's, when we were matching it up at the shop, we yeah. were, I was just testing to see if it was... Because mm. if, if I'd have bought one the next size down, yeah. it might have um, disappeared down there, so... Yeah. But obviously the shop had, you know, they'd advise you. Yeah, and everything. I can see now the importance of, yeah. of, of talking to a, a, a good shop that's yeah. really prepared to help out. And it, yeah. and, 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 and again, you can get the, the ones that are too big, like the, the other one. Like in my opinion, it's a little bit too big. So it's a bit bulky on the end. Yeah. Do you know, see how it's a you bit... Might get, even get more tangles. Possibly, yeah. But that one's it just fits just, just right. It's just yeah. nice, like, yeah. So, and again, all I would do on this... So just tie a double loop on that and pull it tight. So just formed a loop there once, twice like that. And always moisten the knots, just like your fishing knots. Yeah. So just like that there. Yeah. And like that, just pull it tight. Brilliant. Just make sure it's like that. And there's nothing, you know, say I judged that wrong. Luckily I've judged that about right there. And just snip that excess off there. But say, say I'd put the knot on and it was just hanging, you know, it was yes. that sort of situation. It's just a matter of then of just just tying it on again and just... Yeah, so just a little bit of the elastic. Yeah, if you, if you weren't, like, I've, you know, done that hundreds of times, like, so you know, knew where to put it, but just do it gradually. But there's nothing nothing wrong with if you'd tied it too, you know, it was too long. You just snip it off. Just yeah. take your time with it. That's important doing it in the house. Imagine doing it outside in the wind and that. It's yeah. like... You'd struggle, wouldn't you? Yeah. But see that now, it's beautiful, that, isn't yeah. it? Nice and soft, you know, so yeah. it's a lot different. It's yeah. behaving a lot different than when it was. Of course, another th good thing about doing it now is you, you tend to get little pieces of exactly, uh, yeah. elastic yeah. and plastic. And, yeah. and, you, and, you know, it's, with the best wind in the world, you sometimes the wind will blow them and you drop them in the grass and uh, yeah. anglers get accused of, of yeah. leaving litter. So much better yeah. to do this in the house. Yeah, and it's, yeah. you know, and, and as well, and, the, and it's always best just to check Obviously, this was a pre-cut down one. Yeah. So the last thing you want to do is just guess it, and then get on the bank, and then real, and then discover that that only goes. Yes, and that'd be loose. And that'd be loose. It would fall off. And then you lose it. <laughs> and obviously, you're not going to have like a hacksaw on the bank or anything no. like that. So, so, and that fits just so nicely there. Lovely. So, and so, see how it's 
really soft, isn't it? Yeah. You know, ready to go, that is now. Yeah. So. I mean, if you're up to three or four pound bream or something, yeah, you land it. Definitely, I mean, definitely. Yeah. And you've done, you've done that yeah, many times. Yeah, lo lots of times. Like, where it's almost as if they don't know they're hooked on the fine elastic. Like, so it's, but if we stuck a, a big fish on that really tight elastic, I think it would bolt off and possibly break the line. Like, so. Not, yeah. Yeah. But it's all yeah. about just balance, balancing this up to small looks and yeah. fine lines. Like, so. Yeah. yeah, so that's ready to go. You know, that's, yeah. you know, from, so, so it's only took a few minutes from it being unsuitable for canal fishing elastic wise. Yeah. And now you, it's ready to go. Perfect. Yeah. 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 yeah.